Okay. Right, so, uh, where do you want to start here? You know, I... Um, well, I want to make sure you stay at, like, a little bit of a constant volume. Otherwise, you're going to, like, trail in and out of the audio, I think. Oh, sorry, am I, like, am I, like, dipping at all? Yeah, like, near the end of the sentences of either you're uh, okay, okay. quieting okay. down or you're moving away from the mic or something. Um, I, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's kind of, like, iffy. I gotta yeah, that's possible. I, I can hear you okay. just fine, but it might be that for the video okay. that it's a little bit yeah, in, in balance, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, you know. You, you probably know what you're talking about, and I know what I'm talking about, so it'll be um, for yeah, us yeah. mainly, okay? <laughs> but, you know, for the for, for everybody on YouTube that watches afterwards and everybody in chat, kind of want to make sure that they can get some information out of it, too. Like, I've been going over all the archives, mm -hmm. trying to trying to figure out, you know, what direction I want, you know, trying to get some good questions to bring in here so I'm not, like, asking the same thing as everybody else for the billionth time, you know? Yeah, I mean, some things do tend to be more confusing and... But more people have the question, but yeah, it's good to have more precise uh, questions. Did you, well, did you prepare like uh, like a list of questions you want to have answered within the session, or you want to just go well, topic more by just topic? Kind of like I got some stuff off the head, off the top of my head. We can just go topic by topic, and then we'll kind of fill in as need be. Okay, sure. So you said uh, I saw there uh, Laura the farmer. Is that like basically the main character that we're looking at right now? Uh, heavy air quotes on farmer. Because, yeah, yeah. You know, I saw four I, of them each side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I said, I mean, when we last talked and we originally tried to go for the uh, progression session last time, um, I was, you know, I came out like or came back right as uh, Lara was getting released. Liked the class, played it for a bit, and that's kind of like the cl the highest level character I have on my account right now and the mm -hmm. one that has the most uh, gear so I mean I have three line mess with errors like my total accumulation of all my efforts <laughs> yeah so that's uh that's kind of what I got going for me right now it's what I got to work with mm -hmm. um but you know as I've seen in recent times with you know some of the videos you're coming out especially I just went and watched that destiny video this morning mm -hmm. um thank you it looks like that we're <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> Very informational, thank you. <laughs> All right. That's what uh, the, the, the 100 euro donation from yesterday is paying for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did another 25, like, later. Hey. Yeah, it's crazy. Yo. You know, hats off to that guy, man. He's, he's, uh, yeah, he's supporting. content for all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, like, sponsoring but, multiple streams by himself, yeah. Yeah, for real. All right. But yeah, no, so, like, um, I'm looking... That's where I kind of had the... Uh, if you saw on the... Uh, the excel sheet we had you know had like a list of like possible lost farmers and i mm -hmm. screenshot of that and put it in the doc there too but um so i guess just the, you know first point bounce off of so from my understanding we're kind of moving away especially with the kitchen nerfs coming finally <laughs> yeah <laughs> on the 15th you know we're kind of starting to move away from you know just farming constantly on and off totem to actually bossing as major income yeah, I think what they want to do is that you feel more that the time on your um, character that you're training on comparatively is more is, is more valuable um, because you cannot simply scale up how much money you make as quickly as with a kind of farmer. You have to do it with a um, with like a dedicated character for bossing that you comparatively have to invest. I think compared to like one or two bossing characters, it's like easier to fund um, a okay. Kana, right? But when you're like scaling up to like making like 10 or 12, like some people are doing to min max that income, that's of course way more of an investment than just one Kana farmer. So yeah. Yeah. it's one of those things that takes off a little bit later, but then when it does take off, it takes mm -hmm. off in a bigger yeah, so, way. So it's, it's like a, it's a, you know, Kana Farmer, if you want to use an example, right? A Kana Farmer would be like a, a front-loaded kind of stopgap uh, way to make a mess or, or like early immediately because it's relatively, if you want to put it that way, loose air quotes, like relatively low investment to start making meso with that. But... Yeah, you know, or like it's, it's like the first the, the first scalable was like just making the bye bye farmer right, which was like brain dead mm -hmm. yeah, immediately yeah, start rolling that. in billions, and then it was more like you know people going to lock line going into Arcana, and then because of suicide Kana being gone, people actually just mm -hmm. being 
forced all the way into Limina, and now it's like not even yeah. that is like viable anymore to scale up. Yeah, because I remember. So they're just moving, moving it just a little bit harder every time, but little by little, so that it doesn't come as a huge wall to anyone. But it's like a slow transition, and that's why you say uh -huh. like Kana, uh, Kishin nerfs finally, but Kishin has been getting nerfed for like the last four years plus. They're mm -hmm. constantly like tweaking it slightly just to wean us off a little bit. And I think they were pretty successful in bringing something like Kishin in to get a lot of people into the game and to keep us in. And then once yeah. we got used yeah. to it and we liked it, then slowly weaning us off again. I say us, like I didn't <laughs> abuse it as much, but I mean, I've used my fair share of Kishin, of course, way back in the day to, to get my Legion to build mm -hmm. up and everything. It would be crazy yeah, no, not it, to. It's funny because like Khan is such a great class and like, I'd like to play it, but I just off principle didn't yeah because <laughs> i was like dude i can i i never could get behind it like it just well one because i never like played enough to go through all my totems per month mm -hmm. but like also because like it's just like it, it just felt it, it just felt wrong to be doing that i don't know yeah so i don't know like, if you're playing like a fighting game and one character is just like it's your play style but it also everyone agrees that it's kind of op do you then not mm -hmm. play it because people look down on it or do you play it because you enjoy it like yeah yeah it, it comes down and to I, what you think is more important whether you care more about what other people yeah, think or what you what, what you think yeah i don't know yeah i was, I was always kind of that but we're like it's a cool class but like it's never something i wanted to main or like seriously play so it, mm -hmm. it also kind of just like helped make that decision for me of like you know i just eh, i'm just gonna put it in the corner Level yeah two, like, i level kind of agree because you know? it's like undeniably really good but mm -hmm. I, I think i would get used to such a high level of growth that i could never go back to any other character after that yeah. that's <laughs> that's more what i'm scared like of it, like increasing my standard too much it's also like seeing um you know if, if you want to talk back of what they were saying back during the uh, january debacle mm -hmm. how there's a lot of the main server players are gonna have to get used to not using frenzy in the 300 plus areas when those come out yeah, that's probably still going to be like a year or so before people really start getting to that level. But that's going to be a huge culture shock for them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's kind of like the same uh, same analogy. Same energy, yeah, during, for sure. Yeah, with Reboot. Yeah, so um, like bossing mules, I, I'm all for it personally. Like that's one of my favorite things in Maple Story is like I love training. I love being able to turn my brain off. But a lot of the fun for me always comes down to hard boss fights and MMOs. Like, mm. I love challenging myself and trying to push myself a little bit further. It's like, that's, that's okay. where I get the enjoyment out of it, right? I think that makes sense for Lara, right? She's not like a really complicated trainer at all, but she can do it really mm -hmm. fast, so you can get to those harder boss fights quicker. I guess Lara struggles a little bit with the, like, it has really good burst, but then off burst right now struggles a bit with that, right? Yeah, it, it, she's a four minute burst class, so she's kind of has a lot of. Is it four? Yeah. Doesn't she have some three-minute burst stuff? Maybe it's a three, but I, I thought her um, her what was it big stretch the big four attack one was like it's three or four. It's a, it's a long cooldown. No, it's not two minute. Big wait, big stretch I think is was that the? I, I think that one is two <laughs> minutes. I think big stretch is two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like one and a half or two minutes, and then but the, I, I know your big combo attack right was like all the elements mm -hmm. and then yeah, the big yeah. explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, I can't remember the name. I, th I think it's top. three because I thought it's synchronized with her barrier that she has, and I'm pretty sure the barrier is three. Wait, wait I, I'm at a computer. I can just look it up because mine didn't explode. Um, yeah. <laughs> <I> just, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get the skills a little bit. Because I think it's just three minute, it. which is actually really nice because that synchronizes with domain, right? I think. Because domain on max is, uh, is like 182 seconds or something, goes slightly below with the. With the Mercedes Legion yeah. block. Okay, where the hell are the important? Big Stretch is. I think oh, Big Stretch uh, is the one that pops all the veins. Yeah, like up to five, yeah, and then yeah, a lot yeah. of things. Yeah, that's Lens 60 connection. seconds. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lens Connection is a giant one. That's 180, yeah. The 180. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. And then 20 seconds on Surging minutes. Essence, and 60 on Winding Mountain Ridge. So at least all the timers are like on the same common denominator kind of thing so there's yeah, at least you know, as long as you pop good. them whenever they're available then they should they should stay in sync which that's already nice there's some classes out there with some weird wonky timing so um that's already good like you know newer character design at least that's on point <laughs> yeah no they've been getting really good with new character design mm -hmm. um yeah but I guess, do, uh, do you feel like the lara still like fits that the dimension for you or is it just you yeah, feel no, like Lara's you're just playing great. it because it's, it's the strongest 
it, Lara's great. I love the design of the class, but it's just, you know, grinding on it is painful because <laughs> for me at least because mm -hmm. like I'm constantly sitting there rotating the summons every like five seconds mm -hmm. because they just have such a short duration. That's like my only grip with the class. Yeah. So like I'm, that's why I'm kind of like. So is it not simple like, enough why? or? No, it's simple. It's just it's like it's. Yeah, there's um, complex and there's difficult, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like a, difficult. Yeah. It's just it's very involved and it's hard to like you know. There's certain classes where you can kind of just turn your brain off, throw something in the background, and, like farm for hours and not really feel it. Yeah, like yeah you can. Is kind of one of the ones where you gotta pay more attention to what you're doing to, or your rates are gonna suffer tremendously. Yeah, for the, especially for the positioning of the summons, right? That you have enough mm -hmm. map clear yeah, on it. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the one thing you can do, of course, is once you figure out what the rotate, what the locations are, you can like f activate the vein and then pop a new vein right in the spot, right? Like one of those mm -hmm. purple ones. And then yeah. as you're going around, and then go, go back to the first spot, and then, you know, like, respawn and repop kind of thing. And if mm -hmm. if the actual color pops there, then you can save one kind of thing, but... Yeah, yeah you, you do some, have to be there. Like yeah. finicky thing with trying to use Big Stretch to reset all the vein positions to try to, like, manipulate RNG to get the vein to spawn in the right area. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the small one as well, right? The small, small stretch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the name is, but... Yeah. yeah it's <laughs> like Hopefully that one gives a, a good vein, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, Lara is kind of what I've been farming on, on and off. I've kind of, it may look like I've been going super uh, <laughs> hardcore like I did last uh, time as well, mm -hmm. where I'm like, you know, I, I started, I think, what, two weeks ago at 2.7k Legion, and I'm almost at like 4.5 now, mm -hmm. just passing it today. But um, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've been trying to just play as I've felt like playing. I'm not like pushing myself anymore, so I can... Like we always say, it's a marathon, not a race. Mm -hmm. Or, well, not a sprint, uh, I say, because both are races, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> well, fair, fair, fair. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I've been trying to... I, I definitely want to come... Sorry. Something bumped on my throat. But I definitely want to come yeah, back for real this time, not be the uh, seasonal player. Because, like, you know, I've been playing since I was a kid. You know, since okay. I started playing back in, like, 2005. And mm -hmm. I think I stopped playing regularly, like, short, like a year after um, Big Bang hit. Mm -hmm. And I came back. Like, oh, you got a you got a lot more quiet after you bumped oh, the mic. Sorry, by the sorry. way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that any better? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just uh, be be okay. quite close to the mic, and you you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, um, yeah. I came back. Uh, you know, after taking a break after Big Bang, I came back. Like I think right at the start or right after the start of reboot, mm -hmm. and then I've kind of been coming back seasonally with all the new like major the shiny stuff summer updates or any new like classes to try them out for a bit, but. Mm -hmm. Over time, kind of just had like a lot of. Uh, I was able to understand a lot of systems, like I've, I, especially after brushing up over the past year, been kind of I, I understand kind of you know general direction of what to do with you know Starfangs doing equips, mm -hmm. different uh, you know what gear progression or gear path progression you should take, right? Like you know starting out getting your Fafnir equips at CRA, moving up into um, Lotus and Damien with uh, Absolab, getting those, and then going up into the arcane and everything but mm -hmm. um, hmm. i'm, I'm kind of thinking like so i'm i'm planning on swapping mains like I'm, right yeah because you see the like night lord has the 250 gold and a, and a bunch of others yeah, yeah, have yeah. 235 so it seems like the yeah so the I said laro become bossing mule like eventually <laughs> kind of like a temporary goal of like you know maybe what i want to eventually get the bossing mules up to but, sure um, okay I guess my big question should be, you know, just because it's it's a new unfound territory for me of like, with this new, uh, you know, boss farming meta becoming the way to get your meso. Mm -hmm. um, now that we're going into this, what should be kind of like a reasonable expectation of like starting out with that? Like, how many bossing mules do you think we should kind of like try to focus on getting for a reasonable progression pace? At yeah. Least in, like, so mid game. Um, so the, the exact numbers will 100% depend on what we end up getting for the uh, crystal values, right? The crystal values we just don't know yet exactly. We can make some guesses and stuff like that. But um, 
the, the real question is going to be just how much time do you have available and the, the, you kind of make yeah. give yourself yeah. the same question as like is it worth it for me to make a meso farmer it's like well how many hours of, in a week do you have to really actively grind and play if you barely get to the point that you can fill out your totems or less than that i don't think it's worth making a kind of farmer ever it just doesn't really make much sense because you just don't have the time to capitalize on it and you'll want to spend everything every bit of time you have on your main and you'll always be able to make enough money on your main anyway regardless to make enough cash to be able to fund your account like that works okay um a lot of the the funding and the making of the bossing mules for me has been like a cascade of like trickle down uh ludonomics basically where you get um drops like cubes and flames that just would ruin your equips on your main character or you can't even use because they're yeah. too low of a tier and then you just trickle those down to the next character any character that you're kind of interested in and a lot of people right. are being like oh scarter has been making like bossing mules forever it's like well not really i just had like side characters that i was kind of interested in that got like a disproportionate amount of my cubes and flames because my main character like couldn't really use them anymore and then they got to the point where they got so strong where you know came time to do some dailies try some bosses and then I decided to actually really enjoy the character and I could push it some some further on the side or I didn't really like it as much so it kind of just stayed where it was. And for all of those, you know, once you get to the point where you're so strong on that character, it almost feels like a waste to not do those weekly bosses because there's so much money that you can then capitalize on to, to make back. But depending on how, there's a, it's difficult to say like, here's the exact sweet spot where this is the amount of money where you specifically can kill the bosses and how much time is efficient for you. You know, cause you have to calculate in like access to guild skills, your own mechanical skill, how much you like it, you know, how, how big the chunks of time you have that are available. The beautiful thing about Kana was always that it's super flexible. You have like 10 yeah, minutes, you can, you can do 10 do minutes. Whatever. Yeah, you have four hours, you can go do four hours, right? With the bossing mules, it's probably going to be more like, okay, you need to switch all your link skills over, right? Make sure that your hyper stats, make sure everything is in order. Maybe pop some like drop rate coupons, uh, depending on like where you're at and which kind of drop you want. If you you know, if you're doing Papalatus and that kind of stuff, maybe. Uh, we don't know, yeah. we still don't know 100%, like what does drop rate work on? What does it not work on? So like, to, just to be safe, we always wanna take a bit rather safe than sorry. Um, where exactly that sweet spot is gonna be, is gonna be tough. I think if you're making a bossing mule for just like up to H mag or something, that's just gonna be, that's gonna take a long time before that character's like worth its money. So I would more do that on characters that you're already interested in and that are like side characters or possible mains and that you just, pro you were gonna progress with them anyway. If a character is okay. specifically gonna progress only for just, just for doing bossing mule, I would say have the goal of definitely being able to include Lotus and Damien in it because mm -hmm. In all likelihood, the crystals, I think, of everything before Lotus and Damien is going to stay roughly the same. Unless they do some really weird shit that, other than what they did in the other servers. Um, with Probably with the exception of CPAP, because a lot of people just don't like that boss. So that one gets not cleared as much. So that one is probably going to go up relatively. And maybe the non-KMS bosses. We're completely in the dark on that. It's pos possible that Akechi just gets like almost doubled or something. That's possible. That would be good money. But Akechi is like on one side very annoying, but on the other side also not very strong. So once you get used to that boss fight, that might be a good one to include. Um, but I would definitely say like get guild skills because that's probably like four to five K worth of like stat funding that you will just get for free. And probably the only thing you have to do is do like a flag race on a culvert um, per week for like the rest of your life to capitalize on that. And that's always going to be worth it. And I imagine a bunch of like bossing mule guilds are going to spring up that are just going to get somewhere between like 20, 24 to 30 guild skills, maybe tops. Um, and those are going to have like 200 people in it that are just constantly just only dipping in to yeah. <laughs> do weekly yeah, bosses, yeah. get a culvert run in, do a flag sometime during the week, and then peace out again. And that's going to be fine. Yeah. You know, that's going to be the exchange. I think 235 is a good level goal for that. So you have access at least to all the symbols. And that's yeah, a lot of yeah. free stat that way. And it might be just a slow process that way of just getting characters up until enough stat from the symbols to make it so that you take pressure off of investing in the rest of the stuff. So symbols on one hand, and then having a big legion is gonna be probably the most important thing going forward because that is how you fund every single character at the same time. Yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of closing in almost. I could, I think I'm sitting at like 32 characters that are like close to 140. I still have some others I need to work on with that. Uh young but i'm probably gonna burn that once destiny comes around mm -hmm. that is definitely something i'm interested in doing like a side character boss and you know like that the laura i'm probably 
out of the list, let me where'd my Google Doc go? Um, kind of just characters I've been interested in in general. Those ones that I had set up this. Oh, one, there it is. Yeah, so yeah I think I got... you closed it. <laughs> Your name disappeared <laughs> no, a little bit ago. I have like, I have like a billion different tabs open. Yep. <laughs> Such as so organized, I see. <laughs> yeah. <It's> <laughs> well, it's 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 or, or ordered chaos. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Your desk is probably a giant mess, but if anyone moves anything, you know exactly what was moved. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, uh, I have one of those. Yeah. yeah, no. So I mean, I always had a little bit of a sweet spot for Adele. And they're mm -hmm. obviously a really strong character. They can excel really early on, especially if, once they start getting into higher legion. No kind of syndrome um, in that one, like. You want to play it, but it's OP and everyone plays it. You know, I'm not sure if you should kind yeah. of thing. Well, I like the way the skills look. <laughs> okay, so this one is 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 likable enough to overcome that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent. Okay. Like, That's good. The, the thematic of the character, great for me. Like, but um, it's good to know you have a limit to that. You know, that you won't let public perception completely dictate what you play and what you don't play. That's well, good. I mean. What's that going to make a difference? At the end of the day, it's my account, it's my game. Exactly. Like, you know, what, mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it matter? Yeah, right? what does it matter? I play it the way I want to play. Well, I mean, I think to an extent that's probably the same <laughs> logic that some hackers use, but let's <laughs> sidetrack from that. Well, okay, well, we're, we're not... Yeah, no, no, I'm just, just messing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, but okay. it's, it sounded a whole lot like, well, I'm just doing my thing, you know, well, who cares? It's yeah. just my account, yeah. <laughs> that's why I also don't throw shade at anybody for, you know, whatever tactics, legitimate tactics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a game. Play to have fun. Yeah, it's. It, but, I mean, to bring it back to like what I said about fighting game, right? Sometimes people will look mm -hmm. at certain mechanics or certain techniques that are like seen as like cheese or right. Mm -hmm. But if if it's like if it's allowed within the tournament and you're playing within the tournament, then mm -hmm. you have to deal with it. And then and then you can make like waves and you can talk about in general how you think mm -hmm. tournament should block those things or something. But I think you should never take it out on the player. You should like. It's not their fault you were there for the tournament, you know. It's, it's one of those things. And in general, this is going to happen with a lot of things. Like if you're working at a certain job and a certain certain mm -hmm. thing is like practice in the job and you don't like it. Um, yeah, you can get mad at the people doing it or you can go to the higher ups or you can try to, you know, try to get a movement going or make your voice be heard that that's a thing. But sometimes... <coughs> you, Boycott. Yeah, well, sometimes you don't have to like specifically <laughs> like single out and target the people who are, are perpetrating it. Because they might just be like, well, if I'm not doing it, someone else is going to do it. Like, it's going to it's gonna happen, and then I'm going to get fucked if I don't do it. Like, mm -hmm. I agree with you, but then it's easier to get people on your side if you're not, like, seeing them as the problem, but just, uh, like, mm -hmm. as, a, as the starters, but just, like, a symptom or a, a result of the problem, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh... Okay, rent over. Yeah, go. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, no, no. I completely agree 100% with what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. Like... We're on the same page there. Mm -hmm. But so, so in general, like with the hours you play, I guess to, to circle back to that, you feel like you mm -hmm. can definitely like fill out the totems, and you still have more time in the day and, and during the week available. And mm -hmm. I, I guess bossing mules do come in there that they are a little bit more flexible, as in how much time you mm -hmm. need, but with limited yeah. flexibility because some characters, you know, will go faster than others, and some characters will yeah, be able yeah, to yeah. boss easier than others. And then you'd be like, oh, I want to do my bossing mules on this, uh, or the bosses I can do on this mule. Maybe that'll be like 20 minutes. Maybe this other one is like 40 minutes, so maybe that one doesn't get yeah, done every yeah. week, or you know, ends up being like the Wednesday last minute kind of thing, just squeeze in a few yeah, bosses yeah, yeah, just yeah. to get some money, right? Or like uh, Thursday morning. <laughs> or, or yeah, like first things first to get them done. Yeah, depending yeah. on what kind of person you are, right? I give that advice like a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to get them yeah. done. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so that, that'll probably happen, but y yeah, you'll have to decide for yourself like how much time do I mm -hmm. spend during the week? What is realistic for me? How much free time do I have? But it is a long, uh, long process to build up to that point. So mm -hmm. if you have any interest in a character, then you know just slowly get it a little bit funded so that it so that it gets a real shot because a lot of times people just want to kill things fast and I get that and I don't want to say like oh you have to love the character because it is very easy yeah. to love a character if it's really strong and that's mm -hmm. just really undeniable like that's why a lot of people play Khan a lot of people play Adele because it's pretty hard that's to hate a character if it's just sense. knocking things down you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's just doing the thing that you wanted to do, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I understand that. Um, I actually had another question, too, now. Think about it. Mm -hmm. um, 
I guess not so much with Destiny because we already know really mostly what's coming with that. Is mm -hmm. there any events on the horizon that have those EXP mini games like we had, for instance, back in the uh, December event? Yeah, Destiny has one of those. Okay, good. With um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I talked about that a little bit. I think in the video, there's like um. There's the overarching um, summer event. It's got a, like the, the the symphony festival or like Starlight mm -hmm. Symphony, whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. it's got one of those mini games where you have to. They give you like a picture of a star sign, and you have to like replicate it with a with party members, and you have to like replicate the star sign. Um, there's like a little trick to it. I think like Kobe the, uh, made a video on it or something. One? Yeah, like a little puzzle thing. That I think you can do it like twice a day. And that one gives like a lot of experience okay. for characters even past 200. And um, okay, good. it's kind of like that train our, uh, like that train thing, right? Where you have to like pick up uh, the things. Hopefully it doesn't lag like yeah. that one where it was impossible oh to play God. on high ping because you would just like keep going in circles around and like going, oh, yeah, this is the first frustrating thing. I have low thing ping and that was impossible. I've ever play. done. Yeah, so not like that, <laughs> <laughs> but like the same EXP. So hopefully that will be, um, okay, okay. yeah, yeah. That, that's good. That might be the time I get uh, Beast Tamer and Phantom up to 210 then. Because, uh, God forbid, I have to go train on those classes past 200. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a... Well, there's just a lot of value. And if Bossing Mules mm -hmm. is in your foreseeable future and you see this as a way of making that extra income because you do play conceivably more... Or, or just, like, considerably more, that's the word, um, than just your totems... Uh, or you want need that more flexibility, then building up your legion is probably the mo single most important thing you can do. And in building that legion, mm -hmm. you are already like prepping those characters and building them, bringing them to the yeah. forefront of where they eventually need to be. The only big thing you have to take into account with all of that, other than like the order of characters, but you've seen the legion and links mm -hmm. command, no doubt. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Is is like which characters do you specifically? Yeah, <laughs> one of the million tabs is, is yep. which character specifically you designate for Mega Burn for ter for uh, sorry yeah well Mega Burn maybe but that seems like a bit of a relic of the past although it's coming as mm -hmm. part of the um, uh, Fairy Bros right but that's one a month so you know um, yeah, okay. and which one Terra Burn which one Terra Burnate and which one um, Extreme Growth Pots and which one just level by itself. As long yeah, as you have that. Yeah, kind of ate all the ones from this event for yeah, me. Yeah, and that's fine. That's fine. I think it's better to kind of throw, quote-unquote, inefficient extreme growth potions at one character just to get it done if you really don't mm -hmm. like it versus spreading them over all your characters and now all of your characters are, like, stuck at 175 where leveling is the hardest and they can kill anything because they have level 120 gear on. Um, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, usually because exactly that gets it. you to six k, but then the jump from six to eight is going to be rough because you're going to have to invest just as much as you would have had to do at one forty to two hundred. But now you're only going to earn back from one seventy five to two hundred, um, and more of that money is going to get stuck mm. on that character, unless you go all the way and keep pushing it, and then eventually it becomes a bossing meal. But it's going to take a little bit longer to earn that money back. But yes. Yeah, I seen the classes that you have um, highlighted that you want to possibly get to bossing mule. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm I'm of the opinion that you could basically turn any character into bossing mule. Some are just yeah. if, if a character is more of a support character, it's probably going to take a little bit longer to capitalize. Like you have shade mentioned, for example. I don't think shade is weak. Mm -hmm. I don't think shade is bad, but it's going to have a little bit more trouble to get to like the critical mass damage yeah. to just really blow up bosses. Just because it is inherently more of a support class, but if it's a class yeah, you enjoy, yeah, it's the like same and... issue with Lara, for example. Like she's at two thirty-five, but I only have thirteen K stats, and I can barely get through Seville right now. Ah, uh, do the thirteen K. Okay, yeah, and Seville was my lines was are pretty difficult. bad on a. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my uh, the lines I have in my potentials are pretty bad right now, just because mm -hmm. I haven't gone and touched them anything, because I've been kind of. Trying to stockpile what meso I can before uh, Destiny drops. Right. Yeah. So that's. I mean, that's more a general thing. Um, I'm going to preach a little bit, but most of this will already make sense for you. But if you say 13k stat, that's usually going to um, call up a whole bunch of. Um, that's going to imply a whole bunch of other things, right? So basically, you're familiar with the progression grid, right? The other one of your tabs yeah, that you have yeah, open, yeah. yeah. Um, that um, <laughs> if, you, if you say 13k stat there, and then you scroll down, that's going to imply like all those other numbers. And if mm -hmm. those are all in check with the Lara right now, then that's going to sound like, ooh, maybe we need to work on the mechanics of Siva like really hard because 
something is going pretty wrong there, right? If it's a really, really big struggle fight. But if yeah, those other metrics... Kind of yeah, like that's more what I'm most... guessing. If you're saying that, that mm -hmm. it's like difficult to kill, but you have 13k stat. To me, that immediately says either, well, probably your boost nodes are not terribly high. Those are probably pretty low. And your uh, ID is probably low because that will just hurt mm -hmm. you so much that your your effective stat is probably like closer to seven or eight k. I'm is what I'm guessing. Yeah, that, that, that's about that feels about right, honestly, because uh, I think I haven't fully passed uh, level forty, so I don't get that twenty percent ID on my skills on like one of my nodes. So I'll yeah, yeah, because they're not level forty. Uh, you mean right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think I have like one of the major tries that I have at level 40, but I remember correctly the other ones aren't, so I'd have to go look back at that when I can actually get the game. Yeah, and, and nodes just are in general a little bit slower. People mm -hmm. people in general are like, we need to get more nodes from everything because nodes are so OP, and they are, but there is already so much stuff giving you damage that nodes, sh I feel, should be slow, because if they're not, mm -hmm. you'll get, you'll start just getting faster so, so, so uh, so stronger so early on and so fast that you kind of lose the potential for growth too quickly and I feel like you would lose motivation as a result. Yeah, it's it's yeah, good yeah. that some systems that give you a lot of damage are just inherently slower so that they feel more rewarding in the end. Because if you just get them too quickly, you take them for granted, and then it's like, well, I'm done now. What the fuck do I do now? You know? Yeah, you get to the point like, I forget the guy's name, but it was the Wild Hunter you were doing a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I was watching his... Uh, session yep. this morning you i think you guys are talking about is either that or is another stream but we were saying like you know maple story is definitely more of a it's a long-term kind of commitment game rather than you know you know you pick it up for three months you get to end game you everything's maxed out and then you quit and go play another game yeah i mean some people like, do it's, that it's, yeah. it's like the antithesis of that, of that <laughs> idea which is why I it, love it. It, yeah, it's not designed. It's not designed like that. Yeah, and you'll get people come in and just want to like speed run it and then get out again, and then they come back a year later and then they catch up again and then they leave again, and mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I, if people want to do that, they can do that. But I think it's inherently going almost against the design of the game, and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna yeah. feel really weird as well for people just constantly playing and then someone just like dips in, rushes super hard and then the leaves again. Like... It's, yeah, it's weird begging for carries all the way up through like will it's like okay well when are you going to start playing the game when you get to black mage well how are you going to learn the mechanics how are you going to learn how to play your class if you're just getting, yeah you know, people hit it, have, dif time. have different goals i guess um yeah, yeah i mean so i talked about this the other day people will say like oh i want to kill uh, i want to kill like why do you get carries like to get stronger and it's like why do you want to get stronger because i want to kill the monsters faster and it's like well why don't you just kill weaker monsters you can kill those faster it's like no i want to kill strong monsters faster it's like why is that because i want to get like a lot of money why do you want a lot of money to and it's basically just because they want to gamble upgrades <laughs> that's yeah, yeah that's yeah. Essentially, what it comes down to is they want to like gamble. Play a gotcha game if you want to gamble. Like, yeah, they would want to gamble, make twenty-two star stuff, and then be able to show that off and see like, see, this is this is what I got. And mm -hmm. to me, it always will feel weird that you try to show something off where you don't inherently feel like you've earned it. That will always just mm -hmm. seem weird to me. So, and within this game, I don't think you can ever really show something off. There's always I, a bigger fish. Well, if somebody shows like a 22 pitch boss item, I I can't be like impressed at that because they just got lucky enough to get the drop and then they got lucky enough that it didn't blow up. Like it wasn't really any mm -hmm. skill based. You just showed up, got lucky like all the way yeah, through yeah. every single step of the way. It was just RNG and you were, I mean, they could have made some worse decisions. They could have like not safeguarded up to 17 or something, mm -hmm. right? But like, as long as you don't make a horrible decision like that on a pitch boss item, it's really just full luck. And you, but you, it, it sucks. I wish that there was some personal skill involved, like way more than there is, so that you could really, when you see one of those items, could be like, oh shit, good for you, man. Like I'm really happy for you that I'm, you earned that, right? But now it's, it's like my. Um, Marksman has done way more hard bosses than my zero, uh, sorry, than my hero. And my hero so far has gotten like in total like six arcane drops, but my marksman is still at zero. And like my demon avenger is at seven, but he's done probably like four or five times as many runs as the hero. So just, it's completely unfair. <laughs> and then that makes, yeah. at the end of the day, when you see someone with something, like you want to be happy for them, but it's like, 
It's not that I'm not happy for them because I didn't get it, but it's I'm not happy for them because I feel like that would be an empty happiness because no one... Yeah, it, it's all just like RNG at the end of the day deciding who gets to make a whole bunch of progress, which is a little bit... Yikes. But then we all still collectively lose our shit over a three-line meso. <laughs> yeah, because that's just so stupid. I wanted <laughs> HP, okay? I <laughs> Why could I not just get an HP line? God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I have to play the Demon Avenger. That's that's the. <laughs> hey, that's the just more incentive line. to go back to your old main, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that and the upcoming Destiny changes are slightly better incentive, to be honest. That's uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've gone over the whole bossing mule and income ideas. Yeah, you feel uh, to... you feel good about that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I got a decent grasp on it. So we'll kind of just be. I've got the um the boss crystal calculators up too so i've been kind of looking through those seeing like you mm -hmm. know what are projected i think if i do like what it um links only start to cost to transfer them after the fourth one right link after or the fourth, fourth one yeah yeah fifth one and yeah, onward okay. is yeah how expensive each. do i start getting i haven't actually had to hit that point yet um oh boy um i think it was five mil each for the first one and then just goes up one mil up to like 10 mil each for the 10th one i think okay so i mean that's but not it, terrible but it's also cutting it, yeah it becomes very inefficient if you're trying to make boss crystals it's like and a, it's half like a of them crystal right now for to transfer 10 links yeah <laughs> yeah and then and then the, the, for the last boss it's like two whole crystals that are just like disappearing yeah the um well, actually more, because if you're switching things over that stack, every single individual link is cost. So, like, if you're doing the resistance links, you're moving f four of them over, right? Four, five? Yeah, four. So, that's... Yeah. You, you're paying four times the amount there, and, like, the... So, if I have four things... characters CRA ready, and then the main for just spitballing ideas, at least at current rates for crystals, mm -hmm. able to do all the way up to Hard Lotus and Damien, it's about... The calculator says about like three bill per week, roughly, just off of crystals. Yeah, I don't, not do, I don't know if you have this thing as well. Is it this like big spreadsheet? I don't know. I saw some someone no, sent no, no, this yeah, to me the other day. I think this it's, is based uh, on how it changed in Korea and then what the. This one right here. Estimated. I, I, I found it off a Reddit thread earlier. Some guy did a bunch of like calculators for stuff kind of just like choose which bosses you can do and then set how many characters can clear those and then it'll calculate out like the quote unquote optimal amount of each crystals to be selling per week so it has the values of um well it has the current values current. though right yeah yeah, yeah, it's all current values. With the weekly max, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that will undoubtedly shift a little bit. That's why I'm always... Yeah. Kind of, yeah, people want to know. Yeah, people want to know. I, I get that because you want to be able to future prep. But if it, like, shifts mm -hmm. enough, the advice could be bad, right? It's like people want to know yeah, what yeah, is yeah. best in slot. But if you can't reach best but in best slot... Best in slot's not going to matter if you can't... Get, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you, you can get very close to it, but maybe being like 5% off of best in slot means your configuration is almost completely different and you switch like half or, the equips you know, around. They're the best in slot they're giving you might be completely different depending on what roles you have on certain items. Yeah, maybe you get a or certain role and then... You get to on, yeah. yeah, you get lucky on one role and then you keep that and you build around that instead. Yeah, it's possible. Mm -hmm. So... I, I don't want to like not inform people, but I want to make sure that people are aware, aware that it can, yeah, yeah that it yeah. it can't really 100% be known yet, and then mm. it sucks. But yeah, the better the the better you can go. The one that seems pretty much guaranteed is if you can get characters up until being able to do normal slime and easy lucid, then you're guaranteed like rolling in money. Like that's I I can't okay. see any yeah. So, but that basically basically means me making characters like 240 plus, like 240 to 245. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's fine to have like a few of those on your account, like maybe two or three, mm -hmm. and that those will help bring in a lot of cubes and flames with all the bosses they do, and they will help mm -hmm. start trickling down all of the value. Because you have to start okay. somewhere, but I think it's probably better to get one character pretty far, 
Um, yeah. Then to make like 12 characters all be able to do like CRA and then... Because I think the amount of time invested versus how much money you get is probably going to be pretty yeah. inefficient that way, yeah. Yeah, so I think probably like game plan wise, just kind of focus hard on the Night Lord for now. Mm -hmm. Kind of do what what bosses I can with the Lara and maybe some of my other... Uh, you know, see if I can get like the uh, Blaster, I think still has its uh, Abso. Actually, maybe I don't. No, actually, no, it doesn't because I never got it to 220. But, um, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah probably the, just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I burned that one. I don't think I ever got it to 220. I think I just stopped at 210 on it. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll probably just focus on, you know, just do some weak, whatever weekly bosses I can with the Lara to kind of help give some supplementary income and then focus on the uh, Night Lord. Uh, are you considering I, remaking the Night Lord with the Terrible? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm doing that when Destiny comes out because yep. I have a 140 that I originally started on reboot. Yeah, I see that, yeah. I was wondering if, if you I, meant like yeah. investing in this one or just, you know, oh, investing no, no, no. in general in your account in Legion and nodes and that kind of stuff. And then, yeah. Yeah, now if I had a GSE, out. it'd be a different story. But yeah, yeah, then you could. I, 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 yeah. Don't, I unfortunately never got one on it. Yeah, I, okay. I was really hoping I did. Yeah, there's a bunch of characters that I have that were way back when those things were around that I was like, eh, I'll just get that later, you know, what's the rush? And then, yeah. yeah and, well, then, and then they removed it, well. That was the rush right there. Missed it, yeah. Now, I would definitely kill to uh, <laughs> be able to <laughs> yoink that uh, Tenebris ring from my Lara whenever I get that Night Lord. Yeah, th those are coming. There's a bunch of those coming back, though, right? Like you saw in the, the yeah, Disney video, yeah. the three the three ring selectors. That'll give you those mm -hmm. those rings available. Yeah. So that should well, be no problem. The, uh, Firestarter, the yeah. Burning ring, yeah. Probably Firestarter, and then two event rings, and then you know whatever you can have like a minor ring for the last slot, even if it's just like a um, like a white blossom, mm -hmm. right? The silver blossom ring, just to get the mm -hmm. the boss accessory set, but not really worry about the rest. And then eventually, yeah. you know, when or it's like uh, the ring in there. Yeah, or something like that. And then when it's like um, what's his face, like Superior comes in, then the Connor ring can just transfer right in, and then continuation, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to focus, at least with the Night Lord, I want to kind of like early goal, just uh, I want to blow past CRA because you know, I've already done the content, I'm, I'm already familiar with it, I can't, or, or it's not like new to me, so it's kind of not boring, but it's just like it's not a goal to be set at the moment. Mm -hmm. I never managed to get up through uh, Lotus, or, uh, Lotus and Damien mm -hmm. on the Lara, so... I think that's probably going to be first goal for now, and then once I get you know comfortable with those and I start getting into Absolab, I'm going to try to... I've always loved Lucid. She's my favorite boss in the game. Like, visuals, the fight-wise, it's all pretty cool to me. So mm -hmm. I'm definitely excited to be get to the, uh, getting to that point at some point. Next, what's, like... So what's, what's the hardest you... Is Seavel the hardest you've killed um, on the Lara solo? Uh, yeah. And, and have you done I... anything beyond that in parties? Or is it just... The solo part. Oh, no, I've never really been in parties. I was mostly solo playing for the most part. Okay. I probably could easily, like, blow it out <laughs> in a duo. Mm hmm But, um... Or at least do some sort of struggle run, but, um... Yeah, no, like, I... You know, I was always that seasonal player, so, you know, I'd come... Yeah. I, I, remember, I remember, like, the last time I re really remembered playing was, like, when Lumi first dropped. Because that was like right after a reboot came out, I think, as well, right? Um, I am really bad at time frames like that. I don't really keep track like that. Or, yeah. So. or maybe, yeah, like Luminous is one of like the newest classes. So, like, I had. Oh, I mean, maybe you mean Ilium? Ilium is, is pretty new. Luminous is What's a little it? bit older because it's like the, the hero like, class, the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But their names are a little bit too similar. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, no, I never really played Ilium. Okay. But, but yeah, no, I remember like, you know, Fez 3 was the, the training spot and you had to fill up all three potions before you could uh, get to fifth job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, dude, the uh, 22 hours of waiting on the... Oh, God. But it was, was so one, of, one of those things that w really made it very valuable if you got the fifth job. Plus, it, they kind of had was? to do something to make it not like a huge bottleneck, right? Because imagine if they let everyone in immediately into the area. Yeah, it would have been yeah. like a disaster over there. You wouldn't oh, get anything yeah. done, so... So many people dead at that first teleport with the uh, <laughs> Urdas. Yeah, yeah, the, the happy Urda <laughs> map. Just a bunch of... Yeah. Just a cemetery, yeah. 
Compared to now, people still complain now, and I'm like, dude, you would have no idea how easy it is now to kill oh those happy God, Erdas. It was a fucking nightmare I remember back spending then. like 15 minutes trying to kill that thing until somebody came by with high enough arcane force to help me out. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was rough. That was rough, that because was... there was no hyperstat, there was no, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. there, there was none of that shit. Yep. I mean, did Legion, Legion barely existed back then, right? Yeah, I, I, actually, I don't even think I had Legion when I first started my Luminous. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even remember. A lot of these stuff, yeah. By the way. Yeah. yeah. How are we looking for time, by the way? Um, uh, halfway. Halfway? Okay, that's yep. fine. Alright, so... Bosses... Well, so, uh, well, we, uh, I was asking you about Laura, right? Like, the stuff that you've done up to mm -hmm. this point. Yeah, so, yeah. we can... Um, so, Seavelt was, was a struggle for you, uh, but you have the stat window yeah. here at the end, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, I think I'll have green stat window not... Do I have... Mm -hmm. The detailed, oh, I did. Okay, yeah, cool. detailed one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, gotcha. no, ID is not that bad. That you can definitely work with that. Yeah, as long as you're like up the, past the 85, like going towards the 90 mark, that's usually pretty good. Uh, you've got some boss damage and some damage. Yo, Greg, is this like, by the way? Hmm? Oh, did he level? I soloed Sea Gloom. I'm not bad. <laughs> nice, <laughs> <laughs> good job, good yeah. job, Clapper. Um, the is this like when you're standing in that barrier, or what is this? No, no, this is just stuff? this is just uh, my auto buffs going. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, cool, cool. Okay, so did did you just find that the Seaval run was very went very long, or? Mm, I. You have trouble committing your okay, burst, that, or? Well, I, this is me trying to pull from like six months ago, because I I've been hardcore Legion leveling since I got back. Okay, okay. Um. I think it was just kind of like the burst ended up taking like I think it was like maybe 10% for like full burst maybe 10 15% but then like it yeah it's like know, you needed to, too many bursts to do again. enough damage or yeah or something something to that effect but yeah. I think like you know um like some of the gear too, like I have like barely any like percent main stat lines. Well, if I look at your percent main stat, is doable, right? Um, and you, you, have you seen like my Lara Project CRA video? I have not actually. I'm gonna have to go take a look at that because I don't remember how strong she was at that point. Uh, playlist. Da -da -da. Those two nine percent look. Like What was my character at here? Do I even show my stat window? I actually don't think I do that most of the time. I definitely also okay. should find, find a uh, mule guild to put it in to get some guild skills for uh, Seville. That definitely help out with that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see this character is at, wow, 4.6k here. <laughs> hmm. With 8% item drop rate. Wow, that's a good as inner ability. Uh, wait, I really did it like this at level 200. Wow. Um, got the crit rate. Is any of these like way crazier than yours? 88 IED, 201 final damage. Well, this is also like crit damage is probably way higher. Legion, so, yeah, with the 6k with AB link finally online, finally having all three mage links and thief links, I probably could do it. 69% damage, 174 boss. Nice. I think that's that's all lower than <laughs> nice, thank you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's more boss, but lower on the damage is roughly the same, I think. Crit damage is a bit higher, but not like crazy amount higher. You know, when you look at the Seavel run Oh, did I fail? Oh I've probably failed a queen because of that breath damage just being such a nightmare. How long was my run on Seavel? It might have been a rather long run. Oh yeah, I see I only have like a minute left at the end here. So yeah. it is like a near 20 minute run. Do you feel like you run out of time or do you run out of patience? I think it's probably column A and column B there. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think the <laughs> optimal thing honest. right now is to like, um, I think to empower with the fire and to summon the other two, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it's all. It, as far as I can remember, it's always been sun absorb and then erupt uh, water and yeah. wind. What I remember is that it's just like reminding yourself to always slam this guy when it's available, the 20 second cooldown one. Mm. It's just always use that one. Um, yeah. And wait for everything else to sync up, right? Like use the, the, the purple extra vein creation always when you have it available basically so that whenever you big stretch it always has five to hit. But it comes down to the timing that you know either that he's shooting fireballs, then you have enough time to like hit. So then you throw in the big stretch, throw in the big skills and everything. Um, and then the best thing could be to like to start building up and to start damaging him and po then pop your like terms and conditions, right? That you just got. And then if he's about to go down on the fireball, then bind him so that he's already like taken a bunch of the damage and that you can commit even more damage. But a lot of it comes yeah. down to practice and spacing out the tails that's just that's just a lot of practice that you you kind of can't really get around you have to get some first-hand experience and just try that a bunch of times because and yeah definitely check out the run like it it'll probably i mean i'd probably die a bunch of times but it'll probably look um i i imagine i don't know if it is like this but i probably imagine that i make it look easy but that is with like the experience of like 400 cval runs or however oh, probably yeah, like a yeah. thousand at this point right so mm -hmm. I pretty much know exactly where those tails are going to spawn because I kind of like guide them into certain places so I keep other places safe for myself and that way you can commit way more damage and make the run doable at way at way lower stats. But I, I don't see anything in like your stat window that's like, oh my god, that's so fucked up, like we need to fix that. Although I don't see your hyper stat, so that might be um, a little bit I think I had, it was different. boss damage, crit damage, and I had 10 in crit. Just because I didn't have any like good crit lines on any of my gear yet, mm -hmm. so I was using that to get to 100. percent But and I was able some... to hit like 10, 10, 10 on each of them, I think. And some ID, because I mean you're higher level here, right? So you yeah, probably... I think I had level six or seven ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so In, uh, definitely don't want to be shy with that one. We can definitely boost that yeah, one. Yeah. But um, yeah, other than that, doesn't seem too too crazy. The um. Are you sure about your emblem lines? Because those seem, those seem more I, like epic or unique lines. The emblem is the only one I'm kind of like. All of those longs could be complete, or lines could be completely wrong. <laughs> I'm a be complete. I don't remember off the top of my head. Which could, could, well, if I had to guess, like for your secondary, that seems like unique potential lines, and for the emblem, that looks like also like epic or unique lines rather than legendary lines. So maybe you're like remembering yeah. from before you tiered them up. I think. Maybe. Um, I know it had. I know the, um, there was twelve percent int on the uh, secondary. I don't mm -hmm. remember if it was six or nine percent uh, magic attack. I just remember that that those were the actual like contents of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Emblem is complete toss up. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it could be damage. Could be boss no, damage. No. Yeah. Be we'll just talk more about in attack. general like what you want on there, and then we'll use that as a yeah. guideline. And based on if you already have it, cool. If you don't have it yet, then you reroll kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So the the Lara, wait, okay, help remind me. Lara is two thirty five right now, right? Yeah, yeah two thirty five. Yeah. And so the goal is basically just to have it establish itself better in the current level that it is. Be able to do the content around yeah. its level, and then help fund other characters, predominantly the yeah, Night Lord upcoming in the Destiny update, right? Yeah, pretty much. That's that's kind of transition it from being a farming based. Uh, focus to more bossing and then be able to mm -hmm. yeah use those take those funds and put it into, elsewhere into the account that needs it mm -hmm. um so not much more leveling going to happen which means that your meso obtain rings in that sense are kind of obsolete in that like that right and they could yeah, be rerolled yeah, for I for intellects right eventually i'm going to push it up to 250 i think because i stuff i definitely do still like the class i just don't really okay. not like use it as the main Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to try to take it at least to, like, Will and Lucid at some point. Just not yeah. immediate. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cause you did, yeah, you did mention you like those bosses and okay. the aesthetic. Okay. Um, okay, we'll leave that for now, then. Um, here is here. Well, I guess we, like, trickled into the equips. Um, you included some stuff and not some other stuff. So can I understand that the systems that you didn't include, you feel like you already ex uh, understand everything there? Or for the most part, I'm still kind of 
the only thing is I'm not too completely sure on is just because like I've never done Commercy too much. Like I know the concept behind it. Like I know I'm gonna need to upgrade the boat, mm -hmm. and uh, if I want to start, well, actually that's another question too. So with Destiny, when we're getting the Dawn set, is it gonna be strictly necessary to go for Transpose Sweetwater, or is it gonna be another option just to kind of try to get lucky and get the uh, Dawn set? and try to go more into the boss sets. Yeah, so that is honestly um, that is honestly a decent question, uh, and it is something I've been wondering if I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on like the advice for Sunken Mercy. Um, mm -hmm. There's going to be a bunch of options. Like Option one is you basically keep doing what you're doing now. Um, the, the, the Dawn piece is most likely not going to be super common but probably decently common because a lot of people get into those boss fights and do those bosses quite a bit um but usually by that time you know probably not from the normal bosses but more from the hard bosses and by that time probably a lot of people are are wanting to get the boss so you're gonna have to like share with people and everything um yeah and the the other thing is that even if you do get one, depending on how much you already have, you're going to have to overcome it. So you're going to have to get high star force, which means go past 17, which means possibly boom. So it might be a long process until you get something better. So yeah. it's, it's going to be more a question of do you want to have like a guaranteed option for that damage and then a chance for higher and then basically treat the new drop as kind of like a, a sort of pitched boss that is slightly more accessible. Yeah. Um, or are you okay, and maybe if you're like a support class or you're a character that's inherently already quite strong, are you okay taking a small step back and keeping like a suboptimal piece there and maybe just going for just one of the three pieces and just getting them all to 17 and sitting on that, right? The, the Sweetwater accessories. Um, but I could totally imagine someone as well, like uh, other possibility is someone is like, I just hate Commercy, I don't want to do it at all. I'm just going to like do enough voyages to be able to afford like one uh, pendant I'm gonna take black bean marks for the eye accessory and get that up to 20 and just, you know, get a bunch of backups from runs eventually. And I'm gonna go for the Dawn eye. Like, I'm gonna go from Zakum to, to Dawn uh, face, I mean. And then that's just what I'm gonna get there. And I'm just gonna keep that at 17. Like, that's probably gonna be okay as well. Like, the min max endgame seems that it's going to be keeping the Dawn piece as it is without transposing uh, and then getting it. But that's like taking into account getting stuff to 22 and best in slot, you know, like all of that. Um, because then the set bonus with the slime ring makes it uh, slightly better for pretty much every class in the game. There's like a few classes with an insane amount of high damage where it's pretty close compared to like transposing it into a sweet water tattoo. Uh, but the alternative again is mainly going to be like, is it realistic for you to get a 22 um, that rhymed nice uh, on the um, on the piece considering you know where you are in the pick pecking order of the party and how many drops hit etc etc and how rare it is versus just getting a tattoo you know with the narrows on the side and being able to do that on your own pace and just like mass star forcing there and just getting excuse me getting that pretty much guaranteed uh and having that be a more reliable way of getting to high amounts of damage that that's going to be the main the main question so there is probably some break even there that is shifting um, and I feel more okay with the upcoming change that people who just don't like the content can pretty much completely ignore it and don't have to worry too much about leveling the boat. So I, I'm always like the advocate of saying like, I'm not saying everyone has to level the boat and has to get to 21 star all the accessories, but eventually just if you want to go to, rock. yeah, it's, it's, it's a more guaranteed option of getting there. You're just not as RNG, um, you won't be as RNG challenged. You'll be able to more reliably get to that point. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's good that there's like multiple options now, right? It's not just like one, not so much set railroad, but just one like clear, this is the option you like want to take if you want to get anywhere, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people will see like the the three letters BIS and be like, you know, zombie <laughs> yeah, they, or like person, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else, like, floating through the matters. air following the, the, the scent of the pie, you know, like, ooh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I need to be there. Um, I and mean, I'm not going to lie, I've been there. But, you know, it's... If you're, like, a hardcore gamer, like, eventually that's where you'll end up anyway. So it's best to go for what you know you're going to end up with anyway. That's more efficient. But um, but if you even if you know yourself enough to be, like, 
that's cool and all, but I'm probably not going to reach that. Then, you know, go for what makes the most sense. And then if you reach that point and the next goal seems reachable, then you can, you know, move your standards. I did that way back in the day when I started. The meta was the Tyrant gear, right? And it was like oh, Tyrant, God, tyrant Belt and everything. And I was like, okay, I need a high star Tyrant Belt to be able to overcome the superior set bonus, right? So And then take two superior pendants instead for the set bonus. But then equip the Tyrant Belt. And I was like, I'm never going to play this game enough, realistically. Like, I looked at the maths, it was like, I think we still have our exclamation mark tyrants. Wasn't it like, three star tyrants was like, already really good, and then like, you had such a high boom Five was a lot of stat, and then yeah. starting at five it could boom, and it gained yeah. a lot of weapon attack. But like, it was something ridiculous, because I was uh, as a Demon Avenger as well, and I was like, um, with the set bonus, and I was thinking like, I. I'm gonna need like at least a 10 star belt, but probably an 11 to make it worth switching out from a superior. Because this was back when superior only went up to 15 as well, right? So there was like a little competition there. And um, and up to 15 was just kind of bad. You basically kept everything at 10 or 11 because, you know, or you would like min max and go to 14 or 15 just for a little bit of measly stats. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a full set of tyrants at, on, back when I played on Bear on my Zero. Oh, yeah. And you know, quit, came back, CRA's new meta, Tyrant's completely useless, worthless. <laughs> Good, can't even sell my old equips to start a reboot now. Yeah, 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 you could do anything. Uh, because I think yeah. you're like, yeah, to get up to 11, you had like four and a half to 10 booms, you're looking at like mm -hmm. 30 to 50 builds. Like, I'm never going to be making this much, right? Like, I don't yep, yep. care. That. So, so I went for the superior, and then on my fourth cube, I rolled my three line HP. So I was like, oh, I'm golden, you know, like I'm done for. Yep. But then eventually, I got to the point where it's like, I mean, I have a bunch of these coins, I have money. I was trying to get my cape and my shoe, I think for, was to 10 stars, and they were both at eight, and they both went from eight to 10 with like no booms, and then almost no money, and I had so much money left, and I was like, I'm just gonna YOLO belt. And I got one belt to boom from eight to nine, and I was like, I still have 10 more bill, I'm just gonna make another one. Another one got to 10, and I was like, okay, now it's basically a break even, so it's not worth it. And I got to 11, and I was like, okay, this is a slight upgrade, but I'm like, this is like go all the way or don't go at all, because it's like whatever. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it got to 12. I was like, well, shit, now I have to move, you know? So sometimes you, you, it's okay to have a backup plan, because then gambling everything on, like, even a rare drop that is technically an upgrade, unless you know for sure that it's definitely worth, because the star forcing kind of becomes like, it becomes an expensive part, but it also, yeah. it be once you get to that point, your Star Force is the first thing you do. It's always the weirdest thing to me if you see like a trace of a pitch boss item, but it's got like an insanely good flame and three line potential on it. And, and I'm like, it's like all that money's now wasted because you can't. It, yeah, it's completely locked in a trace now. Like, why are you? Do what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And I can kind of get it. Maybe there was an event for potential, so you did the potential first. I kind of get that. But, yeah. man, that's just so much money just, like, locked in purgatory, possibly yeah. forever. Because it is possible that you just don't get another drop for, like, two years, you know? Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's just unfortunate. But, yeah, you see those magazines, you're like, ah, oh, it's so... Like, there's enough money yeah, in that one good. item to make, like, two mm -hmm. bossing mules, you know? <laughs> that's... Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm starting to kind of see that, then, what you're talking about when it comes mm -hmm. to, like... It's like it's it's a good option to start going for that, but at the same time, like you would have the safety like, net, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get so the then, would it, would it be better better than to like have? I'm the dad to get the insurance, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, like I'm thinking, it's like it's gonna be so long to get that that uh, CPAP mark drop to transpose. Yeah, and that's another thing. Um, a lot of people are like, I don't know, I want to keep this, The I get the pap mark, but I'm keeping it like 12 star, maybe get a, like a bean mark to 17 and then have it like as drop and maybe turn it into damage because of the set bonus. I'm like, yeah, that'll, that'll make sense. Like that's all, that's all fine. But eventually, you know, either you're going to get the black bean mark to 20 or you're going to get a pap mark, uh, a monocle to 21. In most cases, that's going to happen before you see a pap mark. In, in, for most people, mm -hmm. like more than 50% yeah. of the cases. Probably in like 80 to 85% of the cases if I had to like take a wild stab at it. Um, so then would it be better just to like sit on um, like a clean, uh, like like decent, decent advantage flame to transpose, but like would it be better just to sit on like a relatively like clean 17 
like tattoo and monocle and then like hold on to those while i'm trying to build up like a dawn set piece yeah the the general move is is, is like what your character is at now right like you have a combination mm -hmm. of a little bit event ring silver blossom kind of treasure treasure hunter john like that's all fine you have some necro and some maybe some von leon or some cygnus whatever that has like a good flame yeah, yeah. with cra and then the rest is like basically all boss accessory that all totally makes sense i mean you have a fake abzo or you have like a good fafnir and you're thinking about moving into abzo that's the other situation and then you mm -hmm. get like potential wise and like wherever all of the stuff is at like this is definitely like good priority like the next step is making sure that the wse potential is good and solidly lets you able it makes you able to do what you want to do so the top priorities and i think it's very similar to the last session that we had like is like the make sure that the flame on your weapon is good because i can't see the flame so make sure that it's high magic attack the potential you know we know what the potential well, I mean, is can't, re can't really roll uh yeah fake so, though, so. so the star force is, is already set potential is already set the only thing that matters is the the flame there right to get at least a tier six flame maybe with something else that's nice for the um the uh that's your secondary right for the secondary make sure that it's mostly magic attack but if there's a line of boss or a line of ied that's fine too especially since you're like yeah, yeah. you're probably going to be strong enough to like blow everything up with your summons anyway because lara is pretty strong yeah. like that so you're mostly just already looking towards bossing and making sure you do enough damage there and then for the emblem it's mainly again like magic attack and and ied um yeah. ied will make it so that you can still reliably kill the bosses even without familiars and even without the superior Gallic set eventually most characters once they get the superior Gallic set and once they get a bigger legion and once the familiars id comes in that is going to make it so that you can roll out of all the id you possibly have on your weapon secondary and emblem but until then it's perfectly fine okay. for most classes to have two or even three lines of id between your wse just to make sure that you can kill those bosses early because even though it doesn't show up in your range at all and it feels like that number might be too high it's, it's still okay it just it makes all of the investing you've done in your character so much more efficient because mm -hmm. technically if you get to 100 percent ied then you have 100 percent efficiency on all of the uh, damage you're, you're investing right yeah. So every single bit of ID you lose, you're actually losing some efficiency on the money you're spending. So, I, I like on my Adele when I started playing it, every single piece of my WSE had like a line of thirty or forty percent ID on it, and I was at like ninety-seven mm -hmm. functional. But I rolled into that pretty quickly, so I settled with it, and with that, it made it that all of the damage was basically confirming because Adele also has some like passive ID, like some functional ID going in, right? So mm -hmm. it it's fine to sit on that and then you know once you know legion links you get better familiars and the, you get superior gallics then you can like okay well by then you have some more money as well so you have some more outs and you have some more liberties and or maybe an event comes around and then you can take care you know you can use that opportunity to kind of make a more efficient okay. reroll at that point all right yeah, because if th if these are lines on your emblem, then that's like a red flag immediate reroll kind of kind of thing. Because yeah, just yeah, yeah. because <laughs> you've already made the initial investment to get it to legendary, so you need to start capitalizing on it and getting um, yeah, actually make it useful legendary instead of just random. Rolls yeah, on it. make it worth that investment of getting it okay. up to legendary. And kind of the same for the secondary. Although the intellect is nice if it's really only just one line of magic attack, because the secondary it's still can also roll. Better than all of that. Yeah. Well, the secondary can also roll boss and ID, so you just have a decent amount of outs okay. um, yeah. that there is good value in general in the rolling there as well. So mm -hmm. I would say that's the priority, like flame weapon, potential, uh, emblem, and um, and secondary. As long as that's in order and you're slowly working on the flame, uh, the, the, the nodes, and you keep doing your symbols, then you know you will be able to level it all the way up to 250. When it comes to doing like lucid will and maybe even doing hard loose and hard will at 250, that's definitely going to require okay. more investments. But by that time, you will have been able to work more on your accessories and getting them up to, um, you know, drop and mezzo stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of interrupted myself, right? So the general status where you're in right now, and then the next step would be, you know, once you get into well, yeah, basically yeah, the next step what th up, this character gets start. into would be to. Yeah being able to switch into the Absolab and then switch into the Gallic stuff, right? And then yeah. once yeah. the Gallic yeah. stuff comes in, boss accessory stuff breaks up, then you want to get the Sweetwater accessories in, and then then you get them, like you said, like you get those 17 stars in, because that overcompensates for the flame loss, for the set bonus loss, and the extra stats. And then that becomes your damage gear, and then this stuff is just like strictly your your mobbing and your, your farming and gear. And drop, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. exactly.
Um, and then, yeah, so, and then the next step after that would be if you get a drop, then that's, you know, brain dead option, then you, but then you know you're going to keep, and talking about like Papalotus Mark, right? Um, mm -hmm. Then you know that you have to keep getting the narrows because you're going to want backups and you're going to want to go, quote unquote, like all the way to make sure that you can commit to that Pat Mark and at least send it to like a 21 star transpose monocle, right? Um, plus the extra dinero cost for transposing will sneak up on you if you, <laughs> I mean, it's like a yeah. hundred a day, so it's easily like yeah. four or five days. So that's, that's a few hundred dineros that just disappears, uh, in a blink of an eye, um, or well, a blink of an eye over several days. And, um, so that will still want to make you do some commercy, but if you're sitting on that, the, that's the other thing. If you get one of those quote unquote lucky pieces or you get some stuff that goes further, that also means that if you have another piece that's not quite good enough, that's a little bit below, your whole account will not, or your whole character will not suffer. You'll still be able to do just fine. And yeah. you'll be able to still kill all the things around your level and it'll be okay. So. Yeah. That, that's the other thing. Sometimes people get one really good flame, and then they feel like their other items sh should get like uh, equally like good flames to make up for it. But with the way I see it, is if one character gets really lucky and gets a, a really good flame, that means another character can kind of get away with a shitty flame, um, mm -hmm. and it won't be as bad. Uh, okay, someone is at my door and is being very <laughs> handsy. Hang on, I'll be right back. No worries, no worries. All right. So how you doing, chat? What's going on? How's everybody's days? Hey, pretty good. I mean, I'm getting my uh, getting my progression session here, so you know. Okay, yeah, the wrong. I don't know. Is there like an Uber oh, oh. pin? Is that the thing? Do you guys know about this? Uber pin, what? I don't know. He had, the, <laughs> I, he had the name of my neighbor, so I just sent him next door. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> that was really awkward. Just okay. <laughs> say nothing, angrily glare and point. <laughs> I don't know. Like He was like speaking half English, and I don't live in an English-speaking country, and he was like pointing a phone at me with a pin for something. I, don't, I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Um, equip, accessory progression. Yeah, and then... So yeah, so, you, so I usually see that as like a... Um, as a way for me to save money rather than, you know, mm -hmm. something that kind of pushes me to to get like a higher standard. But that kind of depends on how you see that personally, I guess, because I'd rather save a little bit of money where I can mm -hmm. so that when I can make an upgrade, I can dedicate more money to that upcoming upgrade and get more money out of it afterwards rather than spending too much on a front end and then maybe feeling locked into yeah. your current situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the case then definitely probably and again it'll all depend on what actually i get for drops because it's all rng right so yeah yeah and that's the main thing um to, to connect that with the the progress past that but that's mainly the progress when you're going past 17 stars is it usually yeah. depends on what kind of drops you get that's where you push the first before uh, past 17 right we're talking about like fodder into superior and going into 21 stars and all of that that can feel yeah. very daunting and feel like you have so much that costs so much and that's the mm -hmm. thing but not everything is gonna go your way you're not gonna get all of the backups mm -hmm. and all of the drops so yeah okay. you basically just want to give yourself time make money and then see where the opportunities lie and then once you have opportunities you can pounce and that's one of the benefits of playing more characters is that mm -hmm. you're spreading yourself even more thin you know, which is, of course, what the game wants because you play more. But it also means that you have more chance that some opportunities will present itself and that some of those will become, like, brain dead. Like, oh, this character has, like, yeah. seven slime rings? Well, cool, now we can just Star Force on the slime ring. I don't have to do, like, the mm -hmm. weird fucking transfer into Superior and eat up my Superior Galax, uh yeah. rings and make a bunch of Meisters and Kana Treasures. I could just go on the slime ring. And then if you have seven, mm -hmm. six or seven of them, that's basically a guaranteed 22, like, you don't need, or, you know, definitely a 21, you know? depending on <laughs> how risky you want to get. Um, and then that's just a brain dead option. But, and another mm -hmm. character has like 14 kind of treasure rings. You're like, oh, okay. But ideally you want to get all of those things on one character, of course. So you can have one character yeah, far, yeah. but yeah. yeah. But if we're looking at like, you know, over time, wanting to scale up bossing mules to get more money to spend on more upgrades, then mm -hmm. being able to get, you know, just little incremental increases on each of the characters, it, if it ends up being like that, is still a good thing. It's not, you know, bad to be working on multiple characters at multiple mm -hmm. times. 
Uh, as really long as you enjoy them, level. you know. Yeah. 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 And just always have some small incremental level of progress over time. Yep. To help kind of boost the power of the account. Exactly. Yeah, and and especially with the star forcing and building that up, that the up the 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 side thing of that, especially once you get some, a bunch of level two hundreds, right, is getting their mm -hmm. their um, star force up as well to get that legion power going because the yeah, yeah. legion coins are probably the most like hidden op or like your legion raid power you know leading to legion coins is probably the most hidden op thing in this entire game because when people I talk about legion they're talking about you know the member bonus yeah. and the grid bonus and that's definitely super Everybody important talks about the region, the, the raid but power. like wealth coupons and drop and experience coupons are just so good <laughs> um i remember uh hearing <laughs> I can't remember the name of that guy, but it was like somebody who has like the top raid power in NA. The dude would like show up in full 21 star Pencilier mm -hmm. and like it carries on, on like all of these characters just mm -hmm. so he can, and he puts like a shield on everything just because it has like higher star force than all the secondaries. Yeah, yeah, I told him that. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it was like, in my like, chat. It was like, crazy. he's like, why are you wearing a shield? And I was like, well, it's easier to get like higher star force if you wear like a shitty yeah. shield and, and then like a one handed sword. And he's like, oh shit. <laughs> Wait, who could wear shields? And then we were trying to mess it out because <laughs> I had a, because my <laughs> blaster has like a shield and a Zakum wand on because it's like easier to get more star force mm -hmm. that way, you know? Yeah, and and uh, is power completely dependent on star force too? Like just the amount of stars you have? Yeah, not the any total amount of star force. Yeah, and there's some intervals as well where it gets important. I think what he ended up doing was like, yeah, so like the regular shield that you can wear for like 10 stars. And then I believe he got like the VIP dagger from the alien visitor PQ or yeah, something. Yeah, Cause, yeah, yeah. Because I think that's like 127, so that one can actually go like all the way up for Star Force. Or at least up mm -hmm. to 15 or up to 20 or something. So he got those like the 17 on all of his characters, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think he's almost at a billion now. He's making like, you know, 600 coins a day or something. Oh, something like that. Yeah, it's nasty. Oh my god. How do you even how do you even spend all of that? To be fair, like with my if I keep up with my totems, I'm at a deficit for um for coins still. For, for coins, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cuz even with the limited cuz now I have like five quote unquote bossing mules right in functionality right now. And mm -hmm. so that's like one half hour drop coupon and then maybe like one extra, you know, maybe some power coupons here and there to make the runs easier and for, for, for culvert and whatever. And then when I'm training, especially when I'm training now, I'm also using the drop coupons, right? To get more familiar cards, more droplets and all that. When I'm in certain, I don't, of course, because it's just completely wasted. But you're using wealth and the EXP ones for pretty much everything. And for a lot of the characters that I leveled up as well, I used those those special pink potions, right? With a half level and double and two EXP in one. If you start buying your uh, flames, then you are like hard tanking your coins, basically. If you are buy you those Eternals in the shop. Four sixty a day. Oh, I've they had those in the shop now. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, yeah. You have the Eternals, yeah. And huh. I've never even bought an E-Pot. And people are like, why didn't you buy E-Pots? I was like, I'm already at a deficit with what I do now. I'm never going to buy <laughs> the E-Pots. But yeah, because people were like, oh, you're at 130,000. Like, you're never finished. And then there was a month where I trained pretty hard. And I and I already dipped below 100,000. So that was like a quarter of my coins like gone in a month. Um, and I haven't... Now I'm like trying to upkeep on my uh, totems. I haven't reached 100k back yet. I'm still constantly below it. So... I'm either like neutral or, or deficit. So I think people overestimate how many, like that it's impossible to finish those coins. If I went really hard in like two to three months, I could probably get through all of my coins. Hmm. So it's, um, yeah, it's a nice buffer, but it's it's not like an infinite <laughs> infinity pool of, uh, of yeah, wealth. Yeah, yeah. Nothing like that for sure. Uh, Legion, yeah, we can do Legion and then you can do reboot NA. Yeah, I think he's B Seductress's character that's that he's on right now. Yes, yeah, his nine hundred and eighty million raid power, yeah. You know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and Maria's at nine five twenty and levels is way more important for raid power than Star Force is. But she's like mm. yeah, like two hundred thirty very valuable levels above him, but yeah, she's still hundred and twenty million raid power behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big uh raid of Legion power. But yeah, you can definitely see like the people who farm really hard are the people who have like a lot of money, like the Peter Pan guy as well. Like he's at eight hundred and forty 
which is barely at 9k and you compare it to like the other people around his level right he's like way higher so you see that he just spent way more money on Star Wars and he probably he might be the guy actually there was one guy who came up with a plan for the bossing mules where I think he made 16 of him and all of them were gonna do like normal slime and normal lucid solo and basically we're only gonna do like 10 crystals each or something but like all of the ones that are just super super valuable it would be like normal gloom right like and then the hard lo hard lotus hard damien like those kind of bosses basically on all of those characters and then the income i, th I want to say it was something like eight trillion a year or something it was something ridiculous like that but of course that was based on speculation of the of the value of the crystals back then so we're not 100 percent sure on where all of that uh where all of that will lie yeah, I see you see like 560 and then see some, someone with 700, so they probably have a few characters, well, a few, and I say probably like 10 plus characters really decked out with like 20 or plus star stuff to be able to, to be able to be that high. I don't know where I'm at, am I like rank 40 or something? Oh, rank 50, yeah. I have 585, that's not bad, right? Like, some people with way higher numbers are like around the same point, so that's not too mm. bad. Where's my mom at? Now I want to see. Is this her character? Or do I have to look for her... Pathfinder. Oh, here we go. Rank 460. I actually have 436 mil. <laughs> Not bad. I am Eight way four... behind, Elio. 8477. Seven. Oh shit, I need to update the mom command. I'm down in the five digits, man. <laughs> <laughs> five digits? Wait. Oh yeah, rank you yeah, mean, I'm... yeah. Yeah, I'm like... 22k almost. I mean... Like 21... You probably gain like a hundred levels and you go up like a thousand ranks or something, right? Yeah, you're probably. that low, the the amount of progress you can make is insane. You could probably graph that one out as well. Make one of those. Uh, make, a, make a rank graph here. Well, <laughs> well, all the graphs I got, um, at least with like the Legion stuff, was from uh, Maple Ranks. Oh, you can just export that? Yeah. Well, no, oh. I just took screenshots of it. But, like, oh, you took screenshots? Okay. Nice, there, nice. Yeah, like, there's mine, for example. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the Maple Story to uh, GG, right? It's another one? Yeah, no, because that, that site went down the other day, so I ended up using this instead. Oh, really? Got down? A lot more detailed stuff. Yeah, well, or at least it was for me. I couldn't look at any of my characters, so. Yeah, I know for another web. For the last time I went there. Um, oh, it seems up for me now, at least. But the last time yeah. I went there to do, like, the ETAs, the page looked, like, really weird, and everything was, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. On one... Okay, it looks better now. But you have to, like, zoom out, like, all the way to see the info. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's kind of squeezed together, so I, th I feel like they kind of... Uh, it's not ideal in all the ratios, but it's... Okay, it's better yeah, now. It's okay. weird with it. You have to get the, to the right level of zoom to be able to do it. Yeah, this yeah. is. The, the, the one thing though, the one crazy thing, because you mentioned about like the Kishin change and everything. The people who were able to use like a Kana Kishin them and like training off totems. Yeah, that's, they're just going to be so far ahead of everybody. They're not going to be able to be caught up with like ever <laughs> now. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, uh, it's, it's impossible. Plus the um, the non-reboot is 100% going to get to 300, uh, true 300 first with totems. Like it, it's not even going to be remotely close. They're gonna be able to use yeah. those all the way up to 300, and we're just gonna be on totem. So, for Come me on, now, it's it's two it months. <laughs> it, it's two totem months for me per level at 280. So you know, at 285, it's four at least, and then it's like eight and 16. <laughs> so, look at yeah. like a year, probably like year and a half to two years per level at the 295 area. So good luck on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you guys in 10 years. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shit. Hey, well, I mean, progress is progress, no matter how slow. Um, yeah, that is true. So, we, yeah, so I asked before about, like, the systems that weren't in. You I, you mentioned Commercy. I think that one's clear now, right? Yeah, um, I'm pretty, like, I, I want to say comfortable with Star Forcing. Like, I've, I've got a decent grasp on it. Of like you know what to shoot for and when um mm -hmm. maybe not so much more going into like higher into the mid game once i start getting up to like lucid and will area that's when again what we were talking about earlier when like the gearing especially now uh with the new sets coming in but you know it's going to be different or it's going to be a lot different to kind of like understand where to go from there but that's something I have to get to when I get there, but... Yeah, it'll depend on the drop. I think for 
yeah, we'll have to see definitely how rare the drop is. I'm guessing that the drop is going to be roughly around the same rarity as the slime ring because it's like part of the same boss set. There's also a yeah. normal version and a hard version of the boss. So I'm going to assume that it's quite like that. Um, and in a way, clearing hard lucid and hard will is going to be easier for most people. But right now, a lot of people are doing it in clusters of party, doing pretty fast runs. And I think more people, especially for will, will try to separate out the parties a bit more even though that's definitely the hardest of the two but just to get more chances of you know you get a better chance of being able to okay, loot the, the books book. yeah plus yeah. the plus the eye and face accessory as well and you could see mm -hmm. some parties that are like okay we got our drops and we got our successful you know we've upgraded them um but we don't want to be spending like this much time for a run every single time maybe we'll start like you know grouping the parties back together or, you know, we've, I've kind of got my arcanes, I don't really need more backups, I'm just kind of just, you know, joining whenever, but not really going to be in a set group anymore. I'm going to spend that time instead doing, like, one, a bossing mule and making, like, way more money in the same amount of time than, like, one crystal divided by six or divided by two with, like, way more, way more pressure, you know? Like, just running into CRA and mowing all those guys down versus spending 20 minutes in a hard will run and getting the same amount of money, you know, something might feel a little bit more relaxing depending on what you're up for. So we'll so have to I'm see how that... So what I'm hearing is go kidnap Kana and just do a duo. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of it, yeah. And then every single Kana mule is just going to run around with like eight spare arcane fans, of course. And <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man. That's what so happens when drop you have to like all the other supports. Yep. <laughs> Don't now, mean it's just too good. We'll have to see the class changes. That'll be, <laughs> that'll be interesting. <laughs> I'm guessing that they're going to be buffed like crazy. Cause, just mm -hmm. because. Because Nexon doesn't know how strong it is. Yeah. They probably think it needs help or something. I don't know. I'm excited to see all the new changes for Night Lord. I haven't like looked at any of it completely. Okay. Like, well, it's a lot of dashing. My last Night Lord was pre Big Bang Night Lord. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. like, like, like hundred man, thirty minute Zakum raid Night Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's the last time I touched it. <laughs> okay. Outside okay. of like leveling. That's um, a while ago. Up to 140. So yeah, the, mm -hmm. it's all going to be completely fresh for me, and I'm excited to see how it goes. I want to get back to my roots. Mm -hmm. That was like my OG name. I see, I see. Way back the XX, I'm a Dexless in XX, Naruto. Yeah, dude, the raccoon, yeah. raccoon masks, uh, <laughs> fucking face stompers, sauna robe. Like, Gotta get we that weapon know. attack, bro, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> six attack. Uh, pink adventure capes. Yeah. Brown work glove or white work glove that we used? I don't remember. Uh, it was white, went in the beginning, but then the brown work gloves at seven slots, so it was more likely to get yeah, high attack yeah, yeah, on yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. Booming back then was through Chaos Scrolls, not through Star Forcing. <laughs> The, um, I don't think, no, the, the Chaos Scrolls would, like, just fuck up your stats completely. It would go from, like, minus, minus five to plus five, so it could, like, even oh. strip your glove of attack. The thing that would boom was the, um, the blue and the gray temper, scrolls, temper. like, the 30 and the 70 ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, like, at an incredible rate. They had, like, 50% chance to boom on fail or something. It was nasty, mm -hmm. yeah. See You'd be, that, like, all that, the way in. <laughs> that burnt maple leaf go over your head, and you just, your heart sank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. It's like yep. hope, hopefully they just fail the scroll, but nope, that's a that's a goner. And no traces yep. either. That's just. Oops. Yep. No. Yeah. Tr Poof. Trace. What's that? Oh, thirty percent was fifty percent boom, and seventy was ten percent boom. Okay, okay, not as. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But thirty yeah. percent was brutal. Yeah. You basically just thirty percent the first slot, and then <laughs> if it failed, you just resold the thing, try to recover some of the cost, and if it succeeded, then you either sold it for profit or then you. Mm -hmm. Yolo's of 70% yep. or some 60% and hopefully made what you wanted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got really Both lucky. Don't fail. It's yeah. easy. I got so lucky on that. I bought like a I bought a 10% of sword at some point. It was pretty expensive, but it was like 10% and all the slots left. And I threw 60% at it and all of them worked. So I had like one of the best swords in the game at that point, you know? Like that was godly. Remember that? It was like godly gear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tuna fish was like the best uh, two age <laughs> for the perma beginners. Yeah, the only thing they could wear. Yep, yep. Those and the snowboards, man. I remember when those. Yeah, the blood snowboards. They, there was one event where it was like super common, and then everyone had them. Um. Okay, we are we are actually coming up on uh, near the end, so I want to make sure that you have. Uh, yeah, with the time, so that you have. Did, did you have any questions written down that we did not get to at all to make sure that we make some yeah, time for those? Yeah, I my head that I could think of. I'm just kind of... So we got the gears thing all situated, kind of... Mm -hmm. 
just over. I'm just running through like checklist on my head here. It's our order. Um, yeah, you've yeah. got like fams we didn't talk about at all, but just well, whatever you get. Yeah, I'm pretty like straightforward with those. Just okay. I, I've I've got a lot of that information back from other uh, progression sessions. Cool. And uh, V Matrix, I guess. Anybody, pretty yeah. big. Any, anybody watching this future, go back and actually watch those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're useful. Watch something while you're doing nodes. Yes. Give Stardor more views. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, yep. Yeah, uh, v Matrix, all good. I, I, it's pretty f straightforward with that. Just mm -hmm. you know, spend my life uh, farming more nodes outside of the uh, the burning rewards. Yep. Get all of the ones you can. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with that, and I'm also in like a lot of the class main discords, so I can kind of get information about which try notes to get and all that. I'm pretty, pretty, uh, all set with those. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't really think of anything else, to be honest. And if I have any more questions, I'll probably just pop in chat every now and again and ask them. Yeah, the Something one, the, the smaller questions or the more speci yeah, the specific questions, yeah. you can always do those, you know. I think some people have gotten oh. like full sessions just by asking one, like three questions a day, and then in a week they basically <laughs> have gotten a full session. That works yeah. too. Uh, real quick one though, actually, and now that I think about it, um, mm -hmm. is there any like focuses you, you just kind of like you're talking about specific stuff? Any focuses like kind of um, how does the Legion look overall? Like, say if I'm like min maxing for my uh, Night Lord. Mm -hmm. Is it, I've got all of my, you know, obviously all the, the uh, boss links in there that I'm already either closing in on completely done or trying to get to 210 here with mm -hmm. the uh, EXP events. Yep. Um, Basically already, select them in order of the of the grid, right? Yeah. Just top yeah, to bottom. Yeah. I've got the other uh, links and legion sheet open here as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely help me build all of this. Uh gonna be burning the Mercedes with one of the uh, with one of the burning airs we get later on. Mm -hmm. Evan's already at 200 so I can get him to 210 pretty easily. Aaron I think I'm just gonna leave it mm -hmm. 140 for now. Maybe get him up to 200 when I shoot for 8k. Sure. Um, how is Kane for leveling early? I think Kane is early. I think it's quite fine. I think it's quite it, okay. the, the, like the hitbox of the starting skill is not great, but it gets a bunch of extra skills, and you just kind of like rotate be between the whole kit, and the base yeah. damage of the skills is just so high that you. I also played it, you know, when my legion was already big, because it's pretty recent class, so that's a little bias on that point, of course. But I was, yeah, I was able to just roll through at all of the content was one of the easier two hundreds. But of course, no doubt, the big legion helps a lot there. And I'm already kind of closing in on getting a bigger legion, anyways, so. Yeah, once you get that basis of like the first like ten to fifteen characters solid, then yeah, everything just rolls right through. Yeah. yeah so I'm probably gonna try to see if I can't close in on six K by like end of this month, maybe a little bit into next month. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But yep. um, yeah, the, the the new event, the burns are definitely gonna help. Probably. Are we getting any more uh, growth pots as well in there? Yes. With the um, uh, well, there's a big level up potions in that battle pass thing. So up to two, if mm -hmm. you buy double, that's like a one big level all the way up to 250 again. Mm -hmm. So there could be two free big levels for you. Um, yeah. And I like tosses on the night lord. Or yeah. Also, like regular like blood. growth potions on uh, some of the rewards and in the shop, I believe as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that'll be that'll work. That I can abuse those to get everybody up from uh, 250 to. Or from uh, 150, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From 150. You're gonna to need a lot of extreme growth potions to get someone up over 250. That's uh. <laughs> well, they don't work to ask 200, so yeah. They, uh no, they do. They do. Um, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the other ones, which regular growth potions. Yeah, the regular, um, the storm growth potions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were just like one level. Yeah, those don't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. No, the extreme growth potions are crazy. I use them on like my 220s to get them to 230. It's like point. Six percent or something per potion. It's pretty nuts. That is pretty nutty. <laughs> Use like three of them from the silver blossom when you get a from the. I would definitely be throwing all those. Blooming the, event. Uh, it's like almost two percent. Nuts. Yeah, on the Evan there because I uh, can't be bothered to <laughs> train that to two ten. 
yeah, no, I think everything is el else is pretty set. Yep. Yeah. Just make yeah the the general priority. If you so right now where your boss uh, where your ID is at and everything, I would prioritize mm -hmm. the ID over the boss damage for your Legion grid, just mm -hmm. because it would add more final damage basically or reduce the the penalty of the final damage, right? Um, once you get your familiars on board, that might like if you get two 15% ID familiars, then that might be enough. Or you get like a nice ID familiar list on your uh, WSE, then you can move it over. So I would say work on the potential, right, on the secondary and emblem first, and then see what you get. If you end up with like a bunch of boss and a bunch of magic attack, then move the legion over more into uh, ID. If you get a lot of ID there, then you can probably leave it at boss damage because then that balance will do better there, basically. Okay, cool. Because yeah, so uh, remember, like the know, rigid, like the rigid parts is like your potential, right? Once you mm -hmm. hit something nice there, you want to build around that. And the flexible part yeah, is like yeah. your legion, and you're good because you can just move that around. You can move your hyper stats around. That's all the cheap stuff. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can just move yeah, that. Yeah. So get the expensive stuff first. And when it comes to the training grid, make sure you you don't overinvest into the exp. Right now, you have limited accessibility, so it makes sense. But if you're going further into 4K, 5K, 6K, you probably want to divest from the EXP and just go even harder in the crit rate and the critical damage because the yeah, EXP yeah, grid yeah. is pretty inefficient in itself. Just make yeah, sure, making yeah. sure no, that that's... Kind of a yeah, stopgap temporary because I'm like, I've been going so hard on levels, I haven't been able to catch up in coins. So no, I'm for sure. Like, I think I'm like four Legion ranks or Legion ranks behind what I am mm -hmm. actually have in level, so... Yeah, and I could see by the size of the pieces that you have more 200s than you typically have with the size of Legion as well. Yeah. So you've got more filled, which means you fill more different types of uh, areas with the same amount of pieces. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wanted to make sure that those two were, you know, that yeah. I got those two points across. But yeah, other than that, if there's anything specific that comes up, yeah, you, I mean, you, you're in the chat, so just yeah. shout whenever. I'll pop in whenever. Okay. Alrighty. Well, well, good session today. Thanks for all that. Yeah, you're real welcome. And uh, best of luck with everything. I hope the, the Night Lord is everything you uh, want it to be and more. You know, that you can rekindle that old flame. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I already got a uh, little treat for myself getting those uh, that first set of Balanced Furies. That's a childhood dream come true right there. Finally, yeah. They were yep. just, they're just too big, but that kind of makes them so cool that they're just it, way too huge it, it, for this so out of yeah, yeah. It's so out of the way to go get it but man like seeing those finally and i nope. still have on on that old night lord we have or that i have in the legion right there the 142 mm -hmm. one i think i still have all the old like the griffin feathers all the old like taos the dark crystals everything i was getting ready to build it and then i like mm. stopped and then they changed everything so i couldn't even go use those i, I saw like the area was going to change so i just made as many as i could right before Mm -hmm. And I probably have like 20 plus sets like spread out between my Night Lord and my Night Walker. But like for yeah. Destiny, that's not going to be necessary at all anymore. You just need one set. Yeah. And then yep. it's just because it's a passive now. So rip, <laughs> I guess. But you know, I hey, never more really committed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, some more use space. I, I had to actually move them. I had to move some to the Night Walker because the Night Lord inventory was just too full if it put all the sets on one character. It just I couldn't hold yeah. on to anything anymore. I was trying to going to do like Project CRA, but I couldn't loot mm -hmm. the pieces if I kept all my Balanced Furies on there. So I had to. <laughs> yeah. This is a, the biggest first world problem ever <laughs> to, yeah. to have, of course. <laughs> oh, I can't hold all of these Balanced Furies in my one character. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> It was yeah. like people were like, why do you have 50 bill? It's like, oh, well, because I could fit everything in my storage, you know? It only goes up to 100 bill. Like, oh, yeah, no. oh woe is you. Oh. <laughs> we need so much more storage slots. Poor man, man. yeah. Like five characters with all those inventory spots. We're actually getting more storage slots in Destiny as yes! well. Yes! Perfect! Uh, but, time to go save some mess out of But we still can't put <laughs> equipment in there for reboot. I feel like we have to have some way of storing extra equipment because we are holding on to things possibly for years from now because we you know because we can't trade but then that's all clogging up our equipment inventory right yeah half of my inventory is just full with like uh, just a bunch of like root boots and like zakum capes and stuff like that for later okay root boots is a bad example that is one of the things that i mentioned specifically because you can keep them as form of coins right you only have to you can just buy them in the moment because they don't have like a cooldown in the shop so that is one that I think is, is a good example of one that you want to hold like as a trump card so that you don't need to clog up your inventory. The mo more of the things that I'm talking about, so if you look at my 
yeah, my DA inventory is like kind of a mess, but like you have mm-hmm. spare dominators from back in the day, like spare superiors. Like I'm not going to get rid of those, right? Yeah. Um, like sweet yeah. water set. I don't know if that's ever going to become relevant because it's non KMS. So I'm maybe there's going to be a way that that eventually maybe becomes relevant again. And then I have like all of my extra Papalatus marks, you know, as as you would, and my extra Kaiseriums. Yeah, extra uh, sweet water, sweet water gloves. Cool. You know, extra yeah, yeah. Sengoku Hakase badges. You know, stuff like that that everyone has. Mm-hmm. Extra, yeah, totally. extra legendary rings, twelve star tyrant belts. You know, extra mm-hmm. weapons and kind of. And before you know it, your whole inventory is just like a junkyard of like dreamy belts. You know, now, imagine if pets had their own storage. You could just dump things onto pets as if they're actual mules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could equip them with yeah. like a bag to you know. Come on, next song. Get on it. Yeah, give us some way. And just like, yeah, not just transfer to other characters, but to just hold like a, an equipment storage per character that we can just throw some into. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Housing storage incoming. Imagine if housing had like personal equipment storage. Yeah, that could be really cool. That would also promote them, uh, promote people to pr- participate in the content. Plus, uh, also have a practical use. That's not like a pay to win thing, but just... Commit, Dress yeah. up your mannequins with all your equipment <laughs> sets. <laughs> True. Make some eclectic looking... Like some... Um, what do you... Oh, Seth always called the murder hobos. Like when you <laughs> use the... When you use like yep. the... Um, what's it called? Maplehood Watch, like that NX, and you just like slam some random Maplehood Watch NX over characters, and they just look at... Like somebody just robbed like a Goodwill, you know? Like a homeless person just tornadoed that's through that's Goodwill and then came out the other end, you know? Once this cash transfer event comes up here pretty soon, that's how like my entire first page of characters is gonna look. <laughs> just okay. all of the old SSBs from like twenty sixteen just going on there. That'll look great. Alright. Um okay. cool. It's been great talking. Best of luck with everything. Mm-hmm. Alright. And uh I'll see you around. Yeah. Hopefully uh, another six months or so we can see some good progress. I hope so, I hope so. Goes. Yes. Do you see that Night Lord joining the hard boss parties and everything? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Good luck. Yep. All Have right. See ya. Have a good one. See you Bye. 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 All right. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah. I guess specifically that wasn't in the Destiny, but like it has a link to all of the upcoming changes for skills. Which one of them is that? That is going to become a passive, right? The soul skill thing. So you don't have to commit multiple sets of uh, throwing stars anymore. So now people finally feel like it's worth actually going for those balanced furies because then you have one set you have it forever and it's always active so that you'll get more mileage out of that one set uh for everything else if you are in a similar situation and you're wondering about building up bossing mules how inv- how important is it going to be for you how efficient is it going to be for you hopefully uh this session sheds shed some light on that to help you figure out um what to do and what to look out for and if you're still confused about the destiny update and everything that's coming or you haven't seen the video yet uh, I'll see if I can include a link somewhere on the screen uh, or otherwise, you know, just check my channel and it'll be right there But um, that's basically a big announcement video on all the stuff that's coming in destiny when the full patch notes are gonna come out Hopefully next week uh, We'll go uh, Well, maybe not next week in next next week what time are we looking at hopefully by the 14th? Yeah, so like in 10 days Hopefully then we'll get the full patch notes and we'll definitely go over all of that uh, but starting the 7th until the 10th of June, I will have access with a uh, in the test server of Destiny already on stream. So I will be definitely streaming that. Definitely on the 7th. I don't know about the other days. Uh, probably on the other days because usually the first day of the test server is a little bit wonky. Uh, and it might be like really crashy and then we have to come back to it later. But I'll definitely uh, try to play that as much as possible. So if you guys are interested in like a preview, make sure you tune in for that. Other than that, make sure that you leave a comment if you would like to win one of these sessions with me for free. I draw two winners every month. I will be drawing the winners for May soon, so stay tuned and check out your Discord, and I'll be sending messages to two people who won. Make sure you include your Discord name in the message so I know how to reach you. And if you don't want to wait, you can check the description of the video as well to find out how you can schedule one of these sessions with me. It has been uh, getting increasingly popular again because, you know, Destiny update coming and, you know, the cyclical nature of the game. So the sessions have been, uh, are being booked a little bit further in advance. So make sure you book quickly if you want to get a slot early on. There's also the option for an express um, 
session that makes sure that I squeeze you in quickly and you always get a session within the next 48 hours. So probably not on the day itself. It's either on the day itself or the probably the very next day after you book it. Uh, otherwise, it might be a few days in advance, maybe up to a week or something. It's not like quite that far, but it's starting to roll up. So make sure that if you're interested, you book quickly. Other than that, hopefully it was informational for you. If you need any of the resources that we're looking at here, that anything that you need, you can always use my Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash Carter. You can always use the chat to search all of those commands. I have about 200 of them, freely available for everyone. Um, and I stream every day as well. So there's a good chance if you check out my channel that I'll be there as well. And then you can just ask things live, just like all of those beautiful people up there. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, maybe I'll see you live. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.